What's up, you guys? How is everybody doing today? I am super excited. As you can see, I am beat down only using AOA Studio Makeup products also known as shop me say if y'all did not know but shop me say is basically a one dollar makeup website you get all of the goodies for only one dollar now with their um brand aoa studio the price does vary from a dollar to ten dollars so but it's not really bad it's still affordable so today we're going to be talking about the new aoa studio butter cream i actually got four different shades because I was so iffy on what can I use with these buttercreams. I never used them before. I never had a creamy eyeshadow base. So I'm really excited. Let's see how it's going to turn out. It may not turn out as best as I like you guys, but hey, we're going to test it out together. So the colors that I ended up picking up is the AOA Studio Buttercream in the color red velvet now this is what the red velvet looks like i already swatched these if you guys seen my other video um of the haul um the the shop me say haul and um this shade really came up more so as a dark burnt orange um it doesn't really look like red to me y'all can see how vibrant that red is it's not as vibrant as it is in the container Next, we have the Buttercream Java Chip. This is more of a brown color. Very, very, very pigmented. I loved it. Once again, I swatched this um, on my other video. Next, we have Pistachio. Now, Pistachio is a very beautiful dark green. Let me go ahead and open this one for you guys because as you can see, I don't think the camera is really catching it, but it looks black on camera. But it's definitely a beautiful, vibrant green, and I love this color. Uh, I, I even love the name that came with it. Lastly, we ended up getting the pumpkin. Now, this is a metallic color, as you can see, very pigmented, the exact same color as you see in the container. That is stunning, gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed. Now, I want to go ahead and show you, y'all, this red color as well. Now, when I um, got this in the packaging, I did notice that this was already open. So, it does look a little cracked. And it actually looks a little bit more drying than the others. And I'm hoping that it's not. I did test this out and it's still creamy. It's not like, it doesn't feel like it dried out to me. Um, but we can only tell once we apply it on our eyelids. So... I ended up getting these AOA Oval eyeshadow brushes and face brushes um, a while ago. Where's the other one? Okay. I ended up getting five of these. I bought these a while ago. They're on the website for $5.55 for five of them, which is actually a really good price. So what I'm going to do, I have the um, Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. I want to go ahead and prime my eyelids with this. I'm going to use my finger. I was going to use my brush, but I decided that since I'm going to be using the brush to apply it, I'd rather not mess up my brushes because I'm not that close to a sink. So, now one thing I can say about this mattifying primer is it is, I believe it is a dollar still and it's a little bit sticky. Hopefully, with the primer being sticky, it will stick to my eyelid and it won't cause the cream to move in the fact that it is a cream eyeshadow, not a powder-based eyeshadow. Okay. my It feels like I have glue on my eyelids. I really don't use this primer much, but since this is a... Shop and say video. I wanted to use all Shop and say products in this video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use definitely Java Peach, Java Chip, which is this beautiful brown. I'm going to use this as my base. And the reason why I'm going to use this as my base is because I really don't have any other color um, to use 
So I'm gonna swatch this on my arm so you can see the color. See how pigmented that is, you guys? That is pigmented, honey. So I hope that, oh, oh, huh. Well, maybe using this as my base. Okay, it's blending out pretty good, okay. I'm not used to using really dark shadows like this as a base. And it's really pigmented. Like, I can probably say this is one of the most pigmented eye products that I have used from Shop Missy. So, I'm really happy. Oh, that's pretty. So, I'm really happy that they did um, decide to come out with a, a cream eyeshadow. Oh, see, now I added too much. So, now I got to add more to the other side. Because it's so pigmented, so it's like, ooh. Okay, you're gonna have to. There we go. I have to blend it out just a little bit. So now I gotta add more on this side <laughs> because I added too much on the other eye. And what I wanna do, I wanna event, um, use all of the colors to create a simple look. I know it's a lot of colors to play with, but definitely something different I would love to try out. So next we're going to go in with this beautiful pumpkin shade. This shade is so gorgeous. I love this shade. So what I'm going to do, I definitely want to use this under my eyes. Call me crazy, I know, but I really want to try this underneath my eyes and I'm going to swatch this so you guys can see. Can y'all see? Matter of fact, let me put it on. Let me darken it up. Let me add more to it so y'all can see how beautiful that shade is. There we go. I may have to turn the, dim the light down just a little bit so y'all can see. There we go. Okay. Now we got a good look. This color is so beautiful and it's so pigmented. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this right underneath. Ooh, cha. Okay. This is so pretty, you guys. Oh my God. I really love this. Okay. Ooh, y'all got me excited now. Okay, so we have two more colors to do. And let me see how I'm going to incorporate this into the look. But we have the red velvet and we also have the pistachio. Now, maybe I can do a little festive look with this red um, I'm going to add a little bit to this. I'm going to pack that on right there. And what I like about this as well is that it's not, um, sticky. I would think that this would be sticky. But it's not. That is really pretty with the brown and everything. Okay, uh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Add some more of the red at the bottom. I feel like this is like a smoky look, but like also adds a little flair to it. I like that. Add a little color. It's always good to add some color. Oh, y'all. Yeah, okay. 
This is so pretty. I like this. It really, like the colors really complement my skin tone. And that's what I really like about this product. So the last color that we're going to try is pistachio pistachio is this beautiful green like i said and let me go ahead and oh you guys i didn't swatch the red for y'all so let me show y'all what the red looks like since i did say that it looks like a orange to me at least on camera y'all see that it has like somewhat of an orange undertone or is that just me correct me if i'm wrong but to me this looks like a very very dark orange on my end a little bit anyway hey it's still a gorgeous color either way i love it so next we're going to try pistachio i look i know i done said it like three times already i'm really excited about this color and i really don't know how i'm going to use it i think i might just take this same brush i don't know what they call these brushes like the, they, they don't have like a number on it or anything but i think i'm gonna take this brush right here and maybe I try to do like a wing look because it is a creamy base so i feel like just to add a little pizzazz oh i hope i don't mess this look up Yeah, that is a little messy, but I, I get the look that I'm going for, so I may just end up fixing it. But if you know some concealer, can always help with that. And then I just blend it out. And, you know, maybe it's just me trying to be a wannabe makeup artist, but yeah, no. You gotta try it sometimes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it like this. And then I'm going to clean it up off camera and then I'm going to come back and show you guys exactly what it looks like. Because I really believe like once I blend this out, it'll look all right. You know, I got to add some more of the green over here because it's not that much green. I'll be right back. So you guys, I did end up cleaning it up and it looks so gorgeous you guys like look at how beautiful this is it's definitely something different and i like different if you want to try this and really make a look out of it you can you guys now y'all know i'm usually more of a neutral girl you know i love a natural look but this is really really pretty it's not too bright and out there it's just like Honey, I'm here, okay? I'm giving a look. I'm giving a vibe. And I can definitely say this look all together with the foundation, the concealer, the eye, the, the I was about to say eyeshadow, but the buttercream shadow. This is definitely really, really pretty. And it's so nice. You guys like, tell me what y'all think in the comments down below. I'm going to put these buttercreams in the link down below because these are sick. I absolutely love this without a doubt. I love, 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 love it. I love the look. The cat eye is like, like, look at me, baby. Like, look at me now. Like, come into my eyes. Look. It's just a Caitlyn thing, I guess. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure you tell your friend to come out and let your friend baby so y'all can be friends. And sorry about the wretched nails.